Hi, and welcome back to Change Your Perspective. I am so excited to be here with you all again. And tonight, I really am excited about the message. Um, oh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who saw my, who viewed my first video on cruise control. I thank God for you all. And I really hope that it was a powerful message and that you will share it and like and subscribe to this channel. Now for today, I would like to share on something that I learned yesterday. Yesterday morning during my Bible study, I've been studying the book of Philippians and while I was reading the book of Philippians, I was listening to a song by Natalie Grant on Instagram daily. She has been sharing a song a day and well she her the term is a song a day to keep the crazies away you know i i am here in trinidad and tobago but in america many of them have been in quarantine for weeks some of them two weeks some three weeks some one week you know depending on the states that you're in and just to imagine being in quarantine for such a length of time this has only been my second official day in quarantine and of course when you know start is you can find many different things to do but for them they have been doing a song a day and the song that i was listening to was a song actually that her daughter wrote so she had her teenage daughter there with her and she was sharing the fact that her daughter wrote this song after having gone through a very severe asthma attack and you know despite what she went through you know and in spite the fact that she was terrified i'm sure at that point in time she was able to change her perspective and shift her focus not on her pain not on the scary experience that she was going through but on god and so she wrote this song you know sharing and bearing her heart and her soul to god really and truly about how she was feeling but still declaring to him that in this time she will turn her cares into prayers and her worries into trusting i mean you all just the lyrics touch my soul it really encouraged me and it really blessed my heart to listen to this song and i had it on repeat during my bible study and while i was listening to the song now and doing my Bible study reading the book of Philippians I had this moment where it's as if the Holy Spirit downloaded in me that we need to be more like Jesus well he was speaking to me so he was letting me know that I need to be more like Jesus where while Jesus was here on earth it didn't matter what situation or encounter he was faced with he never got flustered he never got overwhelmed he never seemed to have been afraid you know and unsure of what to do at that point in time and you know he faced each of those encounters with a uh, reliance and trust in god he faced each encounter with such grace and with such authority because he knew who he was and it really impacted me it blew my mind when you know I started to think about the various scenarios that Jesus would have encountered where you know he had the encounter with the woman of, with the issue of blood you know he may not have been expecting her to touch the hem of his garment and yet at that point in time he knew how to handle that situation he knew how to handle the situation where the centurion came to him and said you know I need for you to come and heal my servant and Jesus was willing to go to heal his servant. And then the centurion told him that, you know, when I tell one of my men to go, they go. And when he tells them to do something, they do it. Therefore, Jesus, he believed, had the authority to simply speak and his servant would be healed. And Jesus marveled. You know, this brought tears to my eyes when I thought about it. You know, having such feet having that kind of feat, the centurion knowing his authority as a man believed now that Jesus also had that the same type of authority as God to heal his 
servant, simply through speaking. And how many of us have that kind of faith? That's the type of faith that Jesus really wants us to have. And, you know, I thought about many other scenarios that Jesus would have encountered being in a storm while he was in the boat and on the sea and he was not afraid his disciples got scared but he was not afraid jesus was not even swayed by the fact that the storm seemed so very terrifying you know he stood and he said peace be still and there are so many other stories in the bible that you can read that you can go and look at and look specifically at jesus's reaction to those situations in every single one of them he trusted god he relied on the holy spirit he believed in the authority that he had he knew who he was and it didn't matter how hard that situation was at no point in time did he say god why is this happening god why are you allowing this to happen or he didn't even say god is see right now i don't have time for this or I'm not feeling to deal with this amount of people right now. Each and every situation that he faced, he faced it with love for the person that he was dealing with and he dealt with it with grace. So the Holy Spirit started to show me that have your you need to be more like Jesus and y'all if I could really see it I need to be a lot more like Jesus if I could really be honest none of us are perfect nobody is perfect and we all have things in our lives that we wish we handled better and when we look especially concerning you know this virus that is affecting the world we can see and really we should see that we, we need to react more like Jesus would have it would not have taken him by surprise, not because he would have known I was coming, but because he knew who his father was. Do you know who your father is? Do you understand the power that God has? Do you understand that he is in control? Do I understand that no matter what situation I am faced with, God is in control? This message tonight is such an encouragement, but also it convicts and it's convicting me. It's convicting my heart because I need to realize more and more in every situation that I face, rely on God, trust in God, run to Him first, understand who your God is, the power that He has, and trust in Him. There was a point in time in my life where, you know, I went through a really really rough patch you know while my sister was ill and i remember telling god that lord i will run to you first because i had learned from a previous experience where i did not do that and i trusted my own self and my own strength and i relied on i guess other people and i didn't trust in him first but when we got the news that my little sister had kidney failure we instead for that situation i decided god i'm gonna run to you first and so that's what i did i trusted him no matter how hard it got i turned my cares into prayers and i turned my worrying into trusting i ran to god and you know, i cried out to god with every encounter every experience everything that my little sister had to endure every new announcement that the, doc that the doctors had to you know let us know about every new pill that she had to take every new procedure that she had to do we trusted in god and we relied on him and he was able to bring us through that storm and that test that my family you know that my family faced at that point in time so my encouragement to you tonight is to do the same thing run to god first yes i know it's scary yes i know it's hard yes i know it's a difficult situation and it's really you know seeming as if things are out of control or it's seeming as if it's own it can only be controlled within your sphere within your space within your home and from the time you have to step outside there it's like i have no control you know but the truth of the matter is that god is in control and he's always in control so run to him first turn your cares into prayers and turn your worries into trusting god bless you
And no matter what situation you may face, don't forget that perhaps what you need to do is change your perspective.